Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this with your friends. So within your WhatsApp group so that it can uh, reach maximum number of students and it may benefit them. So this is week two assignment regarding Python for data science course. Guys, for the past five years, we have been giving solutions for various NPTEL courses. With that experience, we are giving these solutions. I hope almost all solutions are correct. But if you feel there should be any changes to be made, please give your opinion in the comment section. So now let's see the first question. Which of the following object does not support indexing? So for first question, the correct answer is fourth option that is set. A set is an unordered list, right? So it does not support indexing. Indexing means ordering. Suppose a uh, Suppose there is something called x, y, z like that. So this is index 0, this is index 1, this is index 2. So set doesn't support this. So this is fourth option. Now let's move on to the second question. So let me zoom this for you. So now let's see the second question. Given a numpy array, so they have given this array. So they are asking what is the output of the command print of ARR01. So I have did this in my compiler. So when I did this I have got third option. So third option as the correct answer for second question. So now let's move on to the third question guys. So third one, what is the output of the following code? So here is the program given. So I have did this in my compiler guys. So I have got an error guys. So the set of objects are not iterable. So fourth option is the probable solution for third question. Now let's move on to the fourth one. So do watch full video guys. Don't skip the video. You may miss some content if you do so. So do watch full video. Now let's move on to the fourth one. So fourth question. What is the output of the following code? So similarly. So they have given a code and they are asking the output for that. So for fourth question I have got the correct answer as. The third option, this one. So I am marking third option as correct answer for fourth question. Now let's move on to the fifth one. So fifth question. So let me uh, zoom this back. So fifth one, which of the following code gives output my friend's house is in Chennai? So before gi giving this solution, I want to make a small announcement guys. So this is regarding uh, exam preparation MCQs. So with nearly five years of NPTEL experience, we are giving this. We have collected these questions actually. So you'll get uh, in this super savings pack, you'll get the PDF access. So you'll get a Google Drive link. So there will be 295 plus MCQs guys. So very huge number of MCQs available for just 500 only guys. So the access will be given up to five members already many people have taken this so be part of that so there is high topic coverage it will covers almost all the topics so the search option is also available to mark uh, to search your required question and it is also easy to revise so you will get the validity till the exam day so there will be access for up to five members so you can share your price and you can purchase this. So, you, so five members of your classmates or friends can form a group and you can purchase this. So you'll get access for up to five members. So you'll get 295 plus MCQs guys completely NPTEL based syllabus. You will uh, you will not get that outside. So very premium MCQs guys only our channel is providing that you already know that. So with nearly five years of experience we are giving that. So if you want to purchase then you can miss, uh, mail me to this email guys. 
this is the email id you have to mail me so i will give that the same in the description box and also in the comment section so now hope you got this announcement correct so now let's see the solutions once again now let's get back to the solutions guys if you have any doubt regarding this you can ask me in the comment section only if you want to purchase then only mail me guys so this is the email id i will give that in the description as well as in the comment section itself so now the solutions so here so which of the following uh, gives the output they have given so for fifth question i have got two solutions the first one is option a this one and the other one is fourth option so mark a option a that means first option and option d fourth option so i got these two probable answers guys now let's move on to the sixth one so sixth question let t1 so they have, they have given two tuples t1 this one and t2 this one so which of the following will not give any error after the execution so for sixth question so actually i have got uh, four options so they are second option third fourth and fifth so except first option i have got all these answers guys so now let's move on to the seventh one the seventh question so let d uh, they have given a dictionary let d is equals uh, the given one so which among the following will not give will not give the error after the execution so for seventh question i have got two probable solutions that is first option and last option so these two could be the probable solutions for seventh question now let's move on to the eighth question so eighth one which of the following data type is immutable immutable so for eighth question the answer is third option tuple tuple is an immutable data type now let's move on to the ninth question guys ninth one so they have given uh, a dictionary actually student the name of the dictionary is student so they have given uh, a dictionary so they are asking which among the following will return the following output so this is the output we have to get if we execute the any of these below, below options so for ninth question i have got two probable solutions that is second option and third option so mark second and third b and c options that is second and third options now let's move on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one so 10th question what is the output of the following code so before getting this answer i want to once again uh, make you remember that guys we are pr providing nearly one or uh, 295 plus mcqs with just 500 rupee pack only so you'll get up to five members access not one person up to five members access but you have to form a group in order to purchase this or you can one person can also buy this for this 500 rupees only so you will get the validity till the exam day guys not one or two days or not one or two months so even if the exam date is postponed also we will pro we will prolong that period so you will get up to five members access till the exam day and the price is 500 rupees and you will get a huge number of 295 plus mcqs so with high topic coverage and search option is also available and also easy to revise the pdf guys so this is the uh, google drive link you will get so if you want to purchase this you can mail me to this email id with 5 years of experience we are providing this so now let's get back to the solution of the final question so for 10th question the correct answer is first option guys so that's it goodbye